from in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Bill in Texas writes in. He says, I got a message from a female on an online dating service that I won't bother to advertise it gets me laid. I live in a small town, and the average age is about 45, so there's not a whole lot of tale to choose from. I do my thing on the online dating websites. I call it Easy Mac. <laughs> Can I mac and cheese? M A C K. He says, I get plenty of ass from these websites. It's not a bad method. Here, he says, is something I have noticed, however. I keep seeing profiles like this. This is a woman's website or a woman's profile on a dating website. Here it is. Hey, guys, I'm 19 years old looking for friends only. Already found the man of my dreams. I love you and miss you so much, babe. I'm a full-time college student slash worker. I'm very close with my family and friends. Can't wait for my baby to come home safe. A little smiley face. little emoticon. Bill asks, your thoughts on this profile? That's, of course, outside of any commentary about incomplete sentences and bad grammar, of course. We all know she's a dumb bitch. Why would a taken 19-year-old woman who apparently has a boyfriend or perhaps a husband who is probably in Iraq be on an online dating site? Granted, she is completely open about having a man, but there is no purpose for having a paid membership on a site if you are not single. Sounds like she wants some action on the side. I won't do it, especially if her man is overseas fighting. That's just wrong. But I take it her loins are aching for some attention. What do you think? Signed, Bill in Texas. Bill, I agree with you. I think the reason she says things like, I love you and miss you so much, babe, I think she puts that in there because her photograph is going to be there and somebody who knows her is going to see it. And so she has to say things like that. And I agree with you. She wants to go on dates. Now, will she actually put out? I think uh, anything's possible from no to Maybe a little fooling around to the full Monty. Could be anything. Could be anything. But that's a great question. Why do women looking for friends only put ads on online dating sites, especially when they indicate they've got a boyfriend or a husband? Now, I say women are just a bunch of attention whores. This is how they are. They need attention from all the men on earth, not just their boyfriend, not just their husband. They need attention from every single man out there. They constantly need to see how popular they are with guys. And in some cases, that includes sleeping with them in order to find out how popular they are. But tell me that. Why would a woman whose boyfriend or husband has gone off to fight in a war or is in the military or is out of town or whatever, why should she be paying to be on a site like Match.com or Yahoo Personals or one of those? 
Why? Adult friend finder. I'm just looking for a friend. Have you ever done this? Have you ever met a woman who's done this? Have you ever responded to a profile that says something like this? What is the agenda here? Like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I was just like that one guy that was waiting around for that one girl forever. And then it occurred to me why. There's tons and tons of girls out there. If one doesn't give it up to you, many more will. You know, you just got to find them and make it happen. Right. Why waste the time on one girl? It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. The 1 800 5800 Tom. It all started with an email from Bill in Texas who said he's been going through online dating services. He's been finding profiles that say things like, hey guys, I'm 19 years old, looking for friends only. Already found the man of my dreams. I love you and miss you so much, babe. I'm a full-time college student worker. I'm very close with my family and friends. Can't wait for my baby to come home safe. If you're married, you got a boyfriend in the military, why are you placing ads at, at online dating sites? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Richard on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm just stuck here on the 110 right now. Uh, but it's funny you started talking about that because I just, uh, like about a year ago, I was on MySpace fishing for some tail, right? And uh, I stumbled on this girl that was married. And she had a kid saying, oh, how she loves them and everything. So I started talking to her casually. Eventually, she ended up coming down and... uh Staying with me and Whittier for about two nights. And uh, basically, we did everything but home base. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> now, what is that all about? I have no idea. She had a one-year-old. She's been married for two years. She was only 20. She got married straight out of high school. And um, I guess she was just ready to have some fun. <laughs> I have had this experience. I got to tell you, I'm glad you bring this up. I have had this experience uh, being with women who have had boyfriends, and they come to my house, and they take off all of their clothes, and we do just about everything, but, oh, no, not that. No, no, no. What, what do you think I am? It's I like, well, I, I, well I, I'll tell you what I think you are. Let's call your boyfriend and see what he thinks you are. Let's tell him what we're doing right now and see if he signs off on that. I mean, I, I don't understand women who do this, and I don't understand, uh, I mean, th- th- how do they think that what they're doing is okay? I don't know what their logic is. I'd love to hear it explained to me. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I said. I, I know, I said, I'd love to hear it explained to me, not by um, you, because you don't know. Exactly. Right. All right, then, Tommy, have a good one. Take me out uh, Kobe style. All right, Richard, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Oh. Here's Jason on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Not much. Uh, just calling uh, just to let you know about this ad that I... Uh... I answered to this girl on the internet, and uh, she had a boyfriend, and she had her own place, and she actually uh, invited me down there, and we went down, you know, and it was kind of awkward at first trying to talk to her, but uh, she actually ended up letting me spend the night. Uh, but it turns out that uh, she wasn't willing to do anything at all, you know. I just basically got all turned on for nothing, and I was like, "What the hell is going on here?" Well, she you spent the, the night, night, and you did what? I spent the night, and we didn't do anything, but I just laid right down next to her, so and you I were laid to move on her. You tried to make a move on her, and she she uh, what pushed you away? Yeah, she said she had, she didn't want to do anything. Then why she did she have you in her bed? I have no clue. I think she just needed attention. I just think her boyfriend wasn't around enough. I think did I you no did clue. you ask her that question? 
Yeah, I did. I told her what's going on, you know, and uh, she, she had me there for nothing. And I was kind of pissed off, you know. I mean, I thought all of a sudden was going to happen. Now, why? by the way, I've had this happen to me over the years, too. Why did you stay? Why did I stay? I mean, I I didn't stay. I, I had to leave, and I had to tell her, hey, you know what? I, I, I'm i sorry. I don't, you know, I, well, I tried to tell her I didn't want sex, but, I mean, obviously I did, you know. Why would you but, tell her that? Why didn't you say? If you invite me to be in bed with you, I expect sex. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. I mean, I I have been in this position um, when I was younger. Uh -huh. um, I would just stay there and think, well, maybe I'm just not doing it right. Maybe I don't know how to close the deal. So I would be in this strange apartment, lying in her bed, staring up at the ceiling. There she is facing the other way, sometimes wearing a burlap sack or okay. flannel, flannel <laughs> pajamas or something. Uh -huh. And and then later on, I finally realized this is just a game women play. And so when I was in bed with a woman and then she said, oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that. I'm like, OK, well, that's fine. Uh, uh, you know, I don't want to be where I'm not wanted. And then I would get up, start getting dressed. And she'd say, where are you going? Yeah, supposedly, I mean, she has her morals. But I mean, what does her boyfriend know of what she's doing? You know, I mean, well, I mean, if you have morals, you wouldn't be having guys stayed in your bed. Yeah, I totally did not understand. I was so confused that night. I mean, uh, do you, what you should do with women like that is say, why don't we call your boyfriend and let him know that everything's cool. I'm just staying in your bed. Yeah, I mean, I was like, what the hell's going on? Let's tell him right now. Let's call him right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, it's, right, it's, it's, it's obviously you're not doing anything wrong. Let's yeah. tell him what we're doing. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, why the hell did she have me come down here? In the so first she's place? lying to him, and then she's telling you, hey, what kind of girl do you think I am? Just because yeah. I told you to get in my bed and you took your clothes off and you're lying next to me, but what makes you think I would have sex with you? Yeah, they're attention whores, just like you said. Right. Yeah. All righty, Tom. Well, thank you, and uh, you take me out with a bong hit, no cough. Here it goes, Jason. No cough. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Joe on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Joe. Hello, Tom. Yes. Been a uh, long time, first time. Thank you. All right. Uh, it's a no-brainer why a girl would post an ad like this. A girl, she wants to hook up. She wants to cheat on her boyfriend or husband. And she's doing this to absolve herself of any responsibility of her actions when she cheats. That's the bottom line. So, uh, in other words, she is going to cheat. Of course she is. How is she, absolve how is she absolving herself of blame? Uh, well, I didn't intend to. Uh, I, I just was looking for friends, but I went out with Joe or Bob or Phil or Tom. Uh -huh. Had a couple drinks. One thing led to another. Another. It was never my intention to cheat. You know women are like that, Tom. That's true. You're right about that. I'm right about everything. Well, I can't vouch for the rest of it, but you're right about that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Kevin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Do you care? Yes, I do. You're a fellow brother. I'm doing great. Thank you. You know, I call because I know exactly why women do this. I've just dealt with a woman like this. It's so simple. They want, they want, they want. When they say they don't mean to hurt their boyfriend, that's exactly right. They don't mean to hurt their boyfriend. They just don't care whether it happens or not. I see. So so when they place an ad like this, why are they doing that? Simply because, just exactly what you said at the beginning. They would like some casual sex and attention on the side. And on the surface, they've put up a few blocks so that their boyfriend doesn't get hurt. But they just stop thinking about it at that point. They literally shut off the thinking process because... They don't want to hurt their boyfriend, and if they thought about it, they wouldn't do it. Interesting. So then guys should not avoid these ads. When they see them, they should respond because they're going to get what they want. Well, and your point earlier that you could call her boyfriend and try to change her, nah, she's not going to change. She's just going to tell her boyfriend how she didn't intend to hurt him, and she won't think about it anymore at that point either. She might break up with him. You'd be doing the boyfriend a favor. Well, that's an awfully cynical view of women. Well, it's the women that would place an ad like that. The fact that they've placed that ad kind of tells you 
right out front, this is what you're dealing with. Yeah. Well, I agree with you. I mean, don't ever fall in love with a woman like that because she'll do it to you next. Yeah, I mean, a great booty call. Fine, hit it and quit it. But, you, you know, obviously she's also with that ad saying, I am flawed. I am not interested in a serious relationship. If if I caught my girlfriend with an ad like that, that would be an instant termination ad. <laughs> well, put it this way. If, if I had a girlfriend and she had a MySpace page or a Facebook page, that would be termination right there. Exactly. I mean, if I was in Iraq and I, you know, was looking around and pulled up an ad like that from my girlfriend at home, that's all I need to see. Even if my picture is in the ad talking about how much she cares for me. Of course, then she'd say, what were you doing looking at Match.com? Right. And you say, one of my buddies emailed me this link, said, my God, I can't believe what I found. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Kevin, good points. Thank you for that. Thanks. Blow me up, Tom. Here you go, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This guy can't be serious, can he? Can he? Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tommy. How you doing? Doing okay. Yeah, hey, you know... You can play with a gun a lot, and you're not going to get in any trouble till you put a bullet in it. You can lay with a girl. You can play with her. Have all the fun you want. Even if she wants to go all the way, you get what you want to get. Hold back, and you don't have to go all the way. Because that way you know you're not going to get in any trouble when you're done. Yeah, but aren't you out to get laid? Oh, you don't always got to get laid. Uh, you know, a little windy will do just fine. <laughs> Of course, she supposedly wouldn't do that if the ad is correct, if she's not lying. <laughs> well, you know, you can talk them into a little more sometimes. And, you know, you make them do what they want to do, and you talk them in, you hold back. You can come right out and say, okay, we won't go all the way. And then when they want to go all the way, it's even that much better when you say, hey, I'm good. I'm out. I'm not loading that gun. Women, women love to say they're not going to do it, and then, of course, 10 minutes later, they're doing it. Well, that's where the game comes in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's all I had, Tom. Thanks. Mike, thank you. Summer on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Um, I have to agree with the call that was just on. That was exactly me very recently. He is 100% correct. Exactly how? Um, just the whole internet ad, you know, just, um, I remember you were talking about a couple of the websites a few weeks ago and you were laughing at the ads that some of the people had on, um, some of the women and most of them don't get straight to the point, but you know, basically, you know, women, if they're on there for one thing, it should be straight to the point and, you know, and women who are cheating, um, just basically everything I said was was 100% correct, and that's how a lot of women are, unfortunately. So do you have a husband or a boyfriend? Um, I was married for a long time. And then you placed an ad on a, a website? Ask, kind of after the fact, after the fact, after the separation, and, you know, pretty much the whole attention thing. Just everything you guys said just totally hit it right on the head for me just now. Very strange, driving home listening to this. <laughs> so you said, that, uh, wait a minute, let me understand this. So you said in the ad that you were just looking for friends. Exactly. But that you were looking for more than friends. Right, right. Basically, you know, it's whoever's on these, uh, you know, obviously you're looking for sex. You're not looking for a husband or a boyfriend. You know, some people just say that right, you know, right to the point. Some, you know, don't say that for whatever reason. Well, we, you remember, we, know, like, we, why you're on these websites. we did a show like that not long ago. Right. And you look at these profiles and there's women with pictures of puppies and sunsets, oh, right. I remember that. <laughs> their children, their nieces and nephews, they're posed with them. Sometimes they're not even in the pictures, for God's sake. And they talk about wanting to find a soulmate and wanting to walk hand in hand in the sand, uh, you know, looking at sunsets, whatever. 30% of women who date online put out on the first date. 30%. Why else are you on there, you know? And, you know, now after the fact, being very ashamed and realizing, you know, everything that I lost, you know, unfortunately there are, you know, there are women out there so that, that are like that. Did you get caught? Um, definitely. definitely. How did it happen? Tell us. 
gosh, just, you know, the, you know, finding things on the Internet, cell phone bill, just everything. So, everything so you were very there. sloppy. Exactly, exactly. And your husband did a little snooping. Exactly. And what was the smoking gun? Um, Just, you know, actually, like, calling numbers off the phone bill and, you know, just things like that. So the guys you had been with were telling them who they were? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. So it, it's, it's, been a, it's been a rough, you know, nine months, but, you know, you kind of, you know. So when your husband confronted you, what did you say? Of course, you try and deny it, try to get out of it, but you realize you can't. So you just kind of have to admit to everything and, you know, work through it and, you know, move on. Hopefully, some people aren't that aren't as fortunate as I am. But um, did you work through it? You didn't. You we got are, a you are you, you are. I thought you were getting a divorce. Um, things things change, and you know, and it just you know you just have to you have to move on, and you just it's going to be it's, nothing will ever be the same in in our lives. But you just have to try. You just have to try and do the best you can. I I couldn't do it. Exactly. If Why I if he? I caught you Why, doing I, yeah, that. I, I, Exactly. Why? Why should he? Uh, so he's got his own problems. Yeah. That he yeah. would even want to uh, be with you. I have no offense. Exactly. Him. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Exactly. It's just it's it's horrible, you know. And so I don't have know. you have you had sex with him since then? We have. We how, have. How, now, honestly, he's not here. How is it? You know, it's. It's fine. It's just fine. But there's a lot of other issues that you know lead up to it. Unfortunately, that are that you realize that aren't the other person. It's, you know, it's me. And, you know, and that's what it is. I can't blame anyone else but myself. And it's not fun. <laughs> I, I didn't have a good time. I thought I was in the past few months, but I really wasn't. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, that's what happens. And, you know, it's just horrible to deal with. Yikes. When you realize when you realize when you hurt people, it's horrible. And I think that's what I think that's what men and women have to look at out there before you do something like this. If you think you're going to, you know, just get divorced first. <laughs> just get divorced first. Or don't get married. Exactly. 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 But you know, it's just you know, your shows are great. You are right on everything. You know, and and you know. Guys need to, they really need to be aware. <laughs> and it's weird for me being a woman saying that, but that, you know. <laughs> no doubt about it. So anyway, I got to go. Thanks for, you know, taking my call. No and, problem. You know. <laughs> Thank you, Summer. All right. Have a good night. All uh, right, you too. Appreciate the call. Here comes Jackie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay. Um, well, I actually just had a quick question for you. I wanted to know why having a MySpace was a quick termination. Uh, because if you have a relationship with me, you do not need a MySpace page. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Hello? I'm speaking to you in a normal tone of voice. Everyone else can hear me. Okay, I can hear you now. Somebody's in the background. I hear them. Somebody's in the background. Distracting yeah. you, right? No, I just got off of work. I was I was I think I was losing reception. Okay. I'm trying I'm trying to tell you is that uh if if you are in a relationship with me, you do not need a MySpace page. But what does having a MySpace have to do with anything? Because people are on there to hook up. And women use it because they go, no, it's just friends. I have 829 friends. 827 of them are all guys who'd like to get in my pants. I've got friends. Why can't a girl have friends? So what would I, so what would I say, what would I say to my boyfriend if I had one and he deleted it? But now he has one and I can't get him off of it. I'm, I, I'm not justifying him having a MySpace page either. But I'm just saying in general. like. Well, first of all, at 22, you shouldn't have a boyfriend. Let's start with that. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, why did he have the password to your MySpace page? We had my, a password to both. We both had my, our passwords. So you're into that that whole drama thing of checking up on each other? and. Oh, no, no, no. It was it just wasn't a problem. I just didn't mind it. And and now he deleted mine, but now time went by and he got one. So oh, now he said there you go. he didn't have one. Well, that shows how immature the two of you are. 
And uh, that now you've got the kind of problems that immature people have when they get into relationships. They're not old enough and mature enough to be in. Okay. What's so okay. funny? I guess you answered my question. If you were mature, you wouldn't be laughing. You'd be responding with an intelligent response. <laughs> You're right. And there's your boyfriend in the background. No, the one you said, about. well, was some guy was in the background distracting you, and that's why you couldn't hear me in the beginning, and then you lied to me about that. No. And you said there was nobody there. No, my coworker's with me. I told you I just got out of work. I don't care who it is. You said there was nobody there. No, I didn't. You were distracted by that person, and that's why you couldn't hear me. Okay, Tom. Well, thank you so much. You answered my question. I'm sure I did. Jesus Christ. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like It. In this day and age, for a man to get married, he's only looking to lose. It's the Tom Like It Show. It's the Tom Like It Show from Hollywood at 1 800 5800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. We're talking about an email we received from a listener named Bill in Texas. He wants to know why he sees profiles on dating websites that read like this. Hey, guys, I'm 19 years old, looking for friends only. Already found the man of my dreams. I love you and miss you so much, babe. I'm a full-time college student slash worker. I'm very close with my family and friends. Can't wait for my baby to come home safe. And a little smiley face. You have to pay to be on these websites. Why is a woman who has a boyfriend or a husband paying to be on Match.com or... Yahoo Personals, what are these dating websites? Why? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Garrison on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Garrison. Well, all about this MySpace thing. I have had a personal experience with this not even a month ago. Um, pretty much my girlfriend, and yes, I know I'm 18 and I shouldn't have a girlfriend, but I did and I was being stupid. And basically, she had all these friends, quote-unquote friends on MySpace that were guys, kept telling her, you know, you need to turn that off, you need to turn that off. She didn't. Well, we broke up like three weeks ago. What do you know? One of her MySpace friends is over at her house a week later. Really? Yeah, really. So, I got all boo-hoo, started calling her, all kinds of stuff, and my buddy Cisco goes, what are you doing, dude? Do the same thing. Listen to Tom. Do the same thing. Get on that MySpace. Do the exact same thing. What do you know? I'm hanging out with three different girls all in the same night. Wow. 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 That's what it's all about. Yeah. It, it's pretty much. You get on there. If you're a dude and you're getting on MySpace, you're going to get to do basically whatever you want. Well, I, I mean, I, I again... The, the women love to be able to say, can't a girl have friends? These are just my friends. They're my friends. Why can't I have friends? Exactly. We used to get in fights all the time, and I tell her, what are you doing? And she's like, well, I like the attention. I like the attention these guys give me. I, I didn't get it. Don't get it one bit. Well, I would tell her, then you should go off and do that. It's been very nice knowing you. Exactly, and that's what she's doing, and I'm having a great time hanging out with Three or four different girls every night. Perfect. And she's getting all boohoo because she saw my truck still left at school today, up at college. And what do you know? She knew I was hanging out with some chick, and I told her to leave me alone. <laughs> you can have friends, too. Exactly. They're way cuter friends than her, but they're friends. Yes. Well, if she can do it, you can do it. Exactly. <laughs> Well, thank you for that, Garrison. Yeah, thank you very much, Tom. Appreciate the call. It's Wayne on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Sitting on the 91 right now listening to your show. Um, I think that uh, women have too much freedom, and I think they just don't know their place. And uh, I think that's why you can't take relationships seriously. 
I don't anymore. I agree with you. Yeah, me and my brother, we have this little motto. It's uh, all women want to do is break your heart and break your wallet. So hit it and quit it. Hit it and quit it. <laughs> I was having this conversation. I was having this conversation with a woman I know. And uh, she said to me, point blank, she said, what would it take to make you jealous? And I told her, I don't get jealous anymore. And she was like, why is that? And I'm like, <laughs> uh, because when I get jealous, it, it's irrational because I already know that women are going to do whatever they want to do. Chicks are going to oh, yeah. do whatever they want to to do and then they're going to lie to cover it up because they don't want to hurt your feelings they don't want to wound your ego whatever excuse they give exactly they're just looking for a free ride to have fun and they'll just bounce ship anytime they want yeah i just think i just think that uh i think that guys should just play the game that they're playing and once you learn that game then uh Hey, life's a breeze. Since I already know, ladies, that uh, you are going, you know, when your high school sweetheart comes to town, you're going to let him bone you. Or uh, that uh, <laughs> cute guy you met in college uh, that uh, sits in your class, uh, you're going to have coffee with him, and maybe later you're going to uh, get it on with him. Or, uh, you know, maybe uh, the, the guy that you, uh, the, the, your first love, the, with the guy who took your virginity, he's got a he's got a lifetime pass. Anytime he comes to town, he's getting in. So I'm done worrying about what you girls are doing or who's sending you text messages. I couldn't care less because I'm doing whatever what I whatever I want. Oh, yeah. And imagine getting comfortable in a relationship and, uh, you know, stop using the protection and then all of a sudden you got something. That's a scary thought, too. Well, they, well, the point is, look, <laughs> if you're not seriously dating somebody, you're you're already uh, in that position. So that's the least of my worries. I use condoms 100% of the time. Oh, yeah. And then, then it's All just right. not an issue. All right, Tom, blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. one 800 tom is our telephone number. Mickitrick, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, Mickitrick. Sorry, it's a, it's a tough one to say, but okay. Yeah, uh, Tom, totally love your show. I thank you for making me the person that I am. My dad got me hooked on it about three years ago, and basically made me realize what guys are all about. And therefore, I've learned so much from you. So I thank you for that. Wow. And yeah, I, I love your show, dude. You you rock. I get everybody to listen. I try to get all my girlfriends to listen. They think I'm crazy. They hate you, but I love you, and I love what you're about. And you're doing this great service. Wow. Glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So I want to talk to you about this face thing, this whole uh, couples having each other's passwords, uh, checking each other's emails, checking up on each other's MySpace. It will be the death of you if you're in a relationship. It's total BS. You can't do it. It's definitely not worth it. First of all, it's an insecurity issue if you have your girlfriend's password and you shouldn't even be in that kind of relationship in the first place. I mean, I, to me, if you're going to be in a relationship, and I don't think people should be anyway, uh, but uh, to me, if you're going to be in one, that's the day that you delete all the excess email addresses, uh, you delete all the screen names for the instant messages that you've been getting online, you delete the Facebook page and the MySpace page, and uh, you move on to having a life with that person you have a relationship with. There's no need to do any more social networking. No, that's the whole point of, you know, MySpace and Facebook is you get out there. It's it's a great way for singles to meet people in the area or out of the area, whatever you're into. It's a great way to, to meet friends. I've met some really cool people that we've been out to get drinks, guys and girls, um, and I'm totally all for it. However, you can't do it if you're, if you're in a relationship. It, it cannot work, and it's it's ridiculous. There's, first of all, like I, I totally agree with you. You can't be in a relationship, especially I'm 21. Um, I get so frustrated with my friends when they bail out on me to hang out with boys or to hang out with other girls, and uh, you know, having my, and every single one of them has a MySpace, and they put them on their top friends, and they write on their MySpace how they're in a relationship and how much they love their boyfriend and love their girlfriend, and I can't stand it. It's it's ridiculous. It's I have MySpace because it's a great way for me to stay connected with... Meanwhile, every woman I know who has a MySpace page or a Facebook page has 1,264 friends. Yeah. 1,159 yeah, 1, of them are guys who want to bone them. Oh, and you know they're 
Or friends who have boned them. Because it's totally, it's definitely necessary to have 1,200 friends on your MySpace because you hang out with every single one of them. I'm sure of that. And uh, it's, you know, you can't do it if you're, if you're in a relationship. I hate hearing, you know, girls calling in right now saying, why can't I have a MySpace? My boyfriend doesn't care. Or guys calling in saying that, you know, they have one and they're not meeting girls online. The hell you are. You're getting emails, getting cute little comments and picture comments from other girls. Right. That's, that's the whole reason you have a MySpace is because you want people to see what you're about. You want to show off your stuff. You want to see show people what kind of person you are, and you want to meet people. You don't want people to see that you're so in love with your boyfriend and you put all these cute little pictures up of you guys. And it's it's total total BS, and it makes me laugh. It really does. I love seeing people's pages. That I said, oh, the the good thing now is that I have some friends that have like a joint page with their boyfriend or oh. another. Oh. It totally cracks me up that it'll say like you know like him and her or. They're about me will say, let me tell you about us. We're totally cool people. We're madly in love. And then they have joint friends, and his friends are on the top, and her friends are on their top list. And, you know, everybody can see how lovey-dovey and happy they Who are. Who cares? They have, they have a joint Keep friend. that to yourself, folks. Yeah, because they can't trust each other, so they have a shared one. It's, the, you know, the next step above deleting your MySpace, you share one with your, with your boyfriend and girlfriend. So all you guys listening, if your boyfriend's trying to delete yours, just recommend sharing one. That's way cuter. So cute. <laughs> it's so cute. I love when they have cute, like, love songs on there, like, and you log on and a song plays on yeah. the MySpace page. Oh. No, the, my best friend in the whole wide world, and I hope she's listening right now, her quote on her page says, he's the cheese to my macaroni. And she just got into this wonderful relationship with this guy, and he's moving up on her friends list, and it cracks me up. I love it. It, it really makes me happy. It, I thank you for reasons like this, for why you have this show and why you reached out to me, and, you know, you made me a better person, Tom, and I hope more people start listening and taking your advice, because I, I get so frustrated when I hear people call, especially chicks that call in and try to argue with about this stuff, like... If you're if you're a true listener, you got to especially for girls like you're great for girls my age. Like you totally brought in my outlook on, you know, what relationships are about, what guys are about. And I date like a dude because of you. And I thank you for that. I thank my dad for making me listen. And, uh, you know, you made me a better person. You're making this world better people. Look at that. Yeah. So we, we have a we have right a now. mission. Yeah, we do. I'm, a, I'm all about it. So all you people listening right now that want to talk some crap to Tom, go ahead, call in. I laugh. You make my day. I'm sitting in traffic right now. You know, I can't get anything better than that. Love it. Yeah. You want to take me out Kobe style, Tom? I, that would have greatly appreciated. Sure. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I didn't press the button. I was clearing my throat, and I didn't press the button. <clears throat> Since we've gone that far. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Maxine on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How you doing? Great. All right. Um, I was just listening to the last girl talking about the uh, MySpace and Facebook and all that stuff. And um, I have both of those. I've recently just gotten on MySpace and Facebook, but I've done it specifically to promote my business. And I do. I am in a relationship. I have a boyfriend that I've been with for about six or so years. We live together, and he sometimes gets jealous and thinks, like, you know, you have some secret relationship behind my back or something like that. But I'm I'm making connections with people that I haven't been in touch with for years just to get the word out about my business. So well, I've heard that? I've heard that uh, read that song and dance before. A woman I was dating one time had a MySpace page, and she said she was promoting her business. And then I asked her point blank, why do people need to know you're five foot three? Why do people you're going to do business with need to know you're a Scorpio? Oh, well, I don't talk about all that kind of stuff on well, there. Uh, why do people need to know uh, that what your likes and dislikes are if you're promoting a business? And all I got essentially as a response was, hum on a hum on a hum. The Tom Likas Show.